Hey everyone, thank you for watching. Today's video I'm really excited to do. Not only am I gonna be talking about my most repurchased makeup products, I have 15 different beauty, beauty and makeup products here to talk about in today's video, but it's also a collaboration with my friend Glitter Fallout, AKA Linda. Hey girl. I am so excited to be doing this collaboration with Linda. We have been talking about this for several months now on what we wanted to collab on. So I'm going to be really excited to see her top 15 most repurchased products because I feel like we have pretty different styles and tastes and preferences. So I'm just curious if we will have any sort of overlap in our videos or not. If you are not yet familiar with the Glitter Fallout channel, I will definitely have her linked in my description box. Please make sure that you go check her out. Linda has become someone who I talk to on almost a daily basis through Marco Polo during quarantine. We have really connected, which I'm so happy about. I look forward to our conversations every single day. And she is such a joy. She has so much fun with her videos. She somehow can balance having a full-time job plus also making YouTube videos, which I'm always so impressed with. And I know that she puts so much effort into every single video that she puts out. So again, please make sure that you go check out her channel. And thank you so much to Linda for collaborating with me on this video. I've done a video like this in the past. It was probably three, three years ago. I was gonna say three months. <laughs> probably three years ago that I lasted this video. So I watched it while I was getting ready for this one. And it was kind of funny to hear what was my most repurchased products back then to what I'm going to mention in this video. But also if you're coming from Linda's channel, hello, hi, thank you so much for coming by. I hope that you will consider subscribing before you go. I post videos four times a week, Wednesday, Friday, Sunday, and also on Tuesdays. And I just love to chat about makeup. So let's go ahead and get started. these products are more specific and some of them are a little bit more broad in terms of a category but one that popped into my head right away was Maybelline mascaras now I have purchased Maybelline mascaras for the longest time they when I first started YouTube I used a lot of Maybelline it's just it was a brand I used through high school a brand I used through used through college and especially I enjoyed their mascaras I recommended so many of them I was always trying the new ones I had some of my staple favorites but they're still a brand that I continue to purchase and try out their mascaras. This is their newest one, or at least one of their newest ones. This is their Lash Sensational Sky High Mascara. This baby went viral on TikTok and everybody was talking about it. I couldn't find it. I finally found it at some uh, in stores at Walgreens. It's a great mascara. I don't have it on today, which I probably should have, but I was wearing it yesterday. But I wear this one so much. It does not move at all. It doesn't transfer, doesn't flake, and it makes my lashes look nice and long. So Maybelline mascaras, they're just one of those where even though I don't reach for Maybelline as much these days, especially when they come out with a new mascara, I'm usually always giving it a double take. Another category I put on my list, makeup sponges. I buy a weird amount of makeup sponges. I'm not really, does anyone else buy just a ton of makeup sponges? There, It's one of those categories where I'm like, I usually don't feel as bad because you know, you're kind of rotating through your sponges a little bit quicker. You know, you don't want to, have them be all nasty and gross. But also at the same time, I'm usually like, I'm just embarrassingly slow at cleaning my sponges. So I'm always like, it's fine. I'll just purchase more. I'm not really sure why I do that, but in my last haul, it was a kind of a collective haul that included some Sephora, but I also purchased four sponges from the brand DSMD Cosmetics. Never even tried them before, but I just bought four of their sponges. I've also bought a Miss Piggy sponge from Seattle London. I don't, I don't have a deep connection with Miss Piggy, but I still bought a Miss Piggy sponge. I don't know why I do this. Kind of along those same lines is makeup brushes, but I wrote down specifically Sigma brushes because I have purchased so many Sigma brushes since I first started watching YouTube. Now, I feel very grateful because I am now an affiliate with Sigma. A lot of times they will send me uh, if they have a new brush collection, but if there's a brush that I really love or I really go back to, I know they've said to me before, like, if you ever need anything, let me know, but I'm never some, like, I can't just do that. I can't just like email a brand and be like, oh, hey. I would really like another E44. Could you send that to me? Like, I'm just not, I'm just, I'm not very good at doing that. So I'll just buy them if there's another brush, if I want duplicates in my collection or something like that. 
but my when I first started watching YouTube and so many people talked about Sigma I just started buying their brushes like crazy and I have a huge collection and now it's just like it's so exciting to be an affiliate with them and just all of the good things that's just so exciting because they are a brand that I've loved for so many years I also wrote down the benefit brow pencils I go through a lot of these Benefit brow pencils now that I actually do my brows. I'm trying to think of my video that I did three years ago if I actually did my brows in that video. Sometimes on Instagram, you know, the memories will pop up like this is what you posted five years ago and I'm like, nope, didn't do my brows then either. Uh, that's fine. Uh, but I really enjoy the Goof Proof, which this one is almost gone. <laughs> So sad, almost gone. That's twisted all the way up. So the Goof Proof I really enjoy, but also the Precisely My Brow. I purchased the Precisely My Brow more than I do the Goof Proof, but I like to have both in my collection. I used to wear shade three, but then they came out with new shades and now 2.5 is my like best shade. I do get some PR from Benefit Cosmetics and sometimes they will send over brow pencils which is great but sometimes if i run out of a brow pencil or if i don't have my 2.5 shade i just go out and buy these myself and yeah i definitely have repurchased a lot of these over the years when it comes to eyeshadow palettes i definitely purchase a lot from natasha denona this is one of my favorite brands for eyeshadow palettes what really got me into them were her mini palettes this is this isn't even all of them but i really do enjoy the mini nude if you can see i've even hit pan on this one in that light brown shade but I'm just a fan. I'm a fan of these mini palettes. They're $25. I just purchased the mini love. Hopefully that one's going to be coming to me soon. And I'm very stoked. Also these mini palettes, the love palette is what kind of started me on this journey of this size of palettes from Natasha. But then I went on to purchase the glam and also the bronze. I love this formula. These are some of my most reached for eyeshadow palettes in my collection. And again, I'll just keep buying more because like I said, I already bought the mini love. Another brand whose eyeshadows that I've bought a lot of, ColourPop. I've definitely bought a lot of ColourPop palettes in my time. I just, again, I'm just kind of grabbing out a few of these to like have as props in this video. But if I had all of the ColourPop palettes that I bought, I'd have a pretty large stack of them. I have gotten on to ColourPop's PR, so a lot of times they will send me their products, but if there's something that I really want and I'm not sure, because I'm, I'm never really sure if I'm actually getting stuff or not, if there's something I really want, I will just go ahead and buy it and then I can give products away. But this continues again to be a favorite formula of mine and these are really affordable, so sometimes it's a little bit easier for me to grab a ColourPop a ColourPop palette over in Natasha Denona because the price difference is so great. But I also feel like sometimes the ColourPop formula isn't as consistent as Natasha's is, which I do appreciate consistency also. But yeah, ColourPop, definitely, I've purchased a lot of eyeshadow palettes in my day. I also wrote down on my list, natural finish foundations. So with foundations, I don't really go through a lot of foundations as a whole, but I will always repurchase them. And I tend to fall into that natural finish uh, foundation category. So I grabbed out my L'Oreal Infallible, love this one, the Wander Beauty Nude Illusion, love this one. Just a really good natural finish foundation tends to be my favorite. I really don't like mattes. I can lean more to the luminous radiant side if I want to, but usually just a natural finish, it's like, mm. It's like, mm. So the Sephora favorite sets. I'm a big fan of these and I've been purchasing these for a very long time. I used to always purchase the Give Me Some Nude Lips that came out. I think I maybe delved into like a red or like a funky set at one point too, but they did a lot of nude lip ones. I have quite a few videos on my channel from back in the day of swatching everything, putting everything on. I typically always bought a second one to do a giveaway with. Look at me. So I've always really enjoyed their lash stash. This is the latest one that I purchased around holiday time. This is just a bunch of mascaras. There's some full size, there's some minis. You have some lashes in here. I think that these are so great. So this one was $48 and the retail price was $172. A lot of times you get that with the lips too. And especially back in the day for lipsticks when I had a smaller collection and I hadn't tried a lot of formulas yet and I was still trying to like get a feel for all these different brands that was so helpful for me to purchase them but now with mascaras it's like get a bunch of minis you know use them up Just, I feel like these are like a no-brainer for me one category that I continue to purchase items in even though I have a plethora of them and some might say a lot of them look the same nude lips nude lips I still continue continue to purchase nude lipsticks including the one that I have on my lips today I just bought this one again in my last Sephora haul this is from Natasha Denona one of her I need a nude lips in the shade Noah 
big fan. I feel like I said the name Noah really loud in the shade Noah. Uh, big fan of this one. I did a little filming for my Instagram reels with this lip look, which is both a Natasha products. That is March Beauty Word. I am also currently filming another wear test for Auric Beauty. I have one of the Glow Lust mixed in with my foundations today, and I do have Defiance on my eyes. So this is Sam Ravendell's new brand. I am going to have a video on that shortly. I'm doing a full day wear test for three days on three different ways to apply the glow lust and three different eye looks and then a review and comparison. It's gonna be a whole video, so stay tuned for that. But nude lips, I definitely, I have a lot and I'm gonna keep buying them. Also along those lines, lip liners. Mostly nude lip liners, not gonna lie, all three of these here are nude lip liners, but just lip liners in general. Three years ago, I was not wearing lip liner. I know that. I, I did not understand lip liner until like, I'm gonna say 16 months ago. I was like, why do people wear this? It's not necessary, I don't need it. I also didn't like gloss. We'll get there. But now lip liners. I wear a lip liner every single day. I do not do my lips without a lip liner and there's times where I try and then I'm like, I'm just gonna go get my lip liner because like, this isn't working out for me. I love lip liners. These are three of my most recent purchases from Milani in all natural, Vive, Jamie Genevieve's line in Velvet Sands, and then Natasha Denona, the one that I have on today. This is the Dana lip liner, also in my last Sephora haul. I will also keep purchasing lip liners. All right, why don't we just talk about gloss? It seems like what we should do. Again, not a gloss fan until like probably within the past two years here. And I would try, like I would try something and I'd be like, yeah, this is cool and okay but like not really for me and now i love them but i really like my specific and what i tend to repurchase the most of is a mostly clear gloss that's also really shiny or really sparkly that tends to be my favorite that's what i go for that's the look that i like some could say kind of like this lip gloss right here in my hands that's available now at ofra cosmetics in collaboration with myself this is the millie gloss this is my favorite gloss like I like just a clear sparkly gloss that's what I want I'm not a big fan of a gloss with just like a ton of color to it I like something that's more sheer and just more like shiny and but sparkly and this one has all of the beautiful pearl shimmers in there I just it's just my favorite gloss and it's just still so cool that I got to make one with over cosmetics <laughs> like so crazy <laughs> until a few months ago this probably would not have been on my list like if i was doing this video even like four or five months ago i probably would have excluded this category but we are back baby not today <laughs> not today but we are back baby with false lashes i wanted to include false lashes now i used to wear false lashes pretty much in every single youtube video that you would see not only in every single youtube video that you would see but also every single party you would see me at i would have false lashes on every time you saw me at the grocery store I would have false lashes on. I wear false lashes every single day. And sometimes I'm like, I wonder why my eyes are just so sensitive. I just don't know what happened. Hmm. Like, you know, me with my hair journey. I'm like, why is my hair so damaged? Is it because I started dying at age 14? I'm not sure. Why is that? Just like the really confusing questions of the world that we might never know the answer to. But I am back with lashes and my most repurchased brand is definitely House of Lashes. Somehow this became my favorite lash brand. I used to purchase a ton of Huda Beauty that was mentioned three years ago. Used to purchase from them a ton. Ardell definitely, but right now it's House of Lashes. Iconic Lights, some of my favorites. You can also find some of these at Target, which is amazing. They also did a collaboration with Patrick Ta. I've repurchased some of these lashes multiple times also. Like I'm just, I'm a fan of House of Lashes. And the reason I can wear lashes again is because I found the Lily Lashes Lash Adhesive and it is the only lash adhesive that does not bother my sensitive eyes. So technically I've only repurchased this, I purchased it once and then I repurchased it. So I was like kind of sliding it in here, but I'm also saying like for the future, this is what I know I'm gonna be repurchasing the most of because I've never had a lash adhesive that doesn't bother my eyes, but also really makes the lashes stay. I don't have to worry about them moving, yet it's also easy to remove my lashes at night. It doesn't feel like I'm pulling off my eyeballs and all of my lashes with it when I take my lashes off. So the Lily Lashes Lash Adhesive, I know I've talked about this a thousand times on my channel, but it just makes me excited. To finish off what I'm, hoping it's 15. I kind of jumped all over my list. So sometimes I'm like, oh no, I hope I didn't forget anything. But two products that I don't have any more in my collection, but one is the MAC Fix Plus. I have gone through so many of the Fix Pluses from MAC. I'm to the point where I'm, 
I still always consider buying one and maybe if I was going to the one mall that we have in Ohio that's 90 minutes away from me that has a Mac store like maybe if I was there and like walking by the Mac store I'd be like I'll just go pick one up like why not but that's probably not gonna happen but I also have found some setting sprays like the milk makeup hydro grip has like really stolen the show for me and then I continue to have the urban decay in my collection too but the fix plus I have Again, I've gone through so many. I repurchased them. I've gotten like the scented ones, like the lavender at one point. I've tried the matte ones. And right now it's not in my collection. Might repurchase that one again, but I've definitely repurchased them several times. The last product that I most definitely am going to be repurchasing is my Milk Makeup Vegan Milk Moisturizer. That is my favorite moisturizer at the moment and I just went through another bottle. I'm trying to think, or jar technically, I'm trying to think of how many I've gone through at this point because it's been a handful now. I've gone through full sizes and I've also gone through minis of them. And I'm mad at myself because I actually went into Sephora the other day. I was buying the Fenty Beauty Powder Foundation and the mini of the moisturizer was on sale but I was like, I don't want the mini. I know that I want the full size. I should have just bought the mini on sale and then I could have the mini until I repurchased the full size. I don't know what I was, I don't know why I did that. I should have just bought the mini. That was dumb of me. But it's definitely my favorite moisturizer. It's just so moisturizing. It's a thicker moisturizer, but I still feel like I can wear it during the day, even with my combo oily skin. I love to wear it at night. It's not scented. It's just... I, somehow that one became my favorite moisturizer. If you would have told me my favorite moisturizer is from Milk Makeup, I probably would have thought that you were a liar, but that is another one that I've repurchased several times and I will be repurchasing again. After that, that is it for my 15 most repurchased makeup and beauty products. I hope you enjoyed watching this video. Some of it was like a little trip down memory lane. Some of it made me want to go shopping again. So there's that. But let me know in the comments, what are some of your most repurchased makeup products, whether it's something specific or maybe like a category that you just continually buy new makeup in. Do let me know. Also, please make sure to go check out Linda's channel. I will have Glitter Fallout linked in my description box. I will not regret checking out her channel. And thank you so much to Linda for collaborating with me. I'm so happy that we could make this happen. And thank you so much for your friendship. You have really been so helpful during this quarantine time so that is it for today's video if you enjoyed it please make sure to give this one a thumbs up i hope you also consider subscribing before you go and i'll see you in my next video bye